Hi guys, I'm Jake, and today we're going to be talking about towing mirrors. <laughs> so you've probably clicked on this video because you, yourself, are looking at getting towing mirrors for your vehicle. I'm going to do a bit of a review today on the new Sanhima Gen 2... Shut up, birds. Today on the new Sanhima Gen 2 mirrors, and also a review on these Ocam fake clear view mirrors which I've had on my vehicle for the past eight months. Alrighty, so here's the Sanhima Gen 2 mirrors on the ute. Now I installed these probably two weeks ago and I did a bit of a video which I'll put on later of the install just to show you guys how to install them. Actually super simple, it's only it would only take you 10 minutes aside. So I thought that I would do this video a few weeks later after I've used them. We're on the Gibb River Road now, which is renowned to be one of the most corrugated roads in Australia. I just thought, before I do my review, I want to see actually how the mirrors hold up because, I mean, when they're extended out, as you can tell, corrugated roads aren't the nicest for them. So let's talk about the three main differences between these ones, the Ocam mirrors, and the Sanhemas. Number one is the build quality. These are far superior. It's aluminium on this mounting piece. The plastic's just thicker. I mean, we will see in years to come how they turn out, but build quality already just seems a lot better. This brings us to number two, which might actually affect a lot of you guys, is weight. These would be probably, I wouldn't say double the weight of these, but they're significantly heavier. Not of a problem to some, more of a problem to others. I mean, I know a few people are really scratching with kilos here and there in the caravan world. I, I can spare a couple of kilos. <laughs> Just have to lay off the McDonald's. So that's actually a win for the Ocams. You probably thought I wouldn't, you know, give them anything. Number three is functionality. They pretty much do the same thing, realistically. You know, they both fold, they do all that kind of stuff. This does the job. It covers your legal options. It's extended out wider than the caravan that you're towing. <laughs> In looking backwards, these, they don't do as well. This mirror here on this seems to be like two convex and you just can't really see anything out of them. And then also the design here where they sit, they're actually a lot lower. And when you sit in the cab, you can't see this bottom part. So, you've actually got to like look up and over so that you can see the bottom part. It's hard to say, I mean, you've looked out of mirrors before, I'm sure in cars, certain cars it's fantastic, others they're not. It's hard to put your finger on what it is, but you can just see a lot more out of these. And then also bonus is looks. I think that these mirrors are a far superior looking mirror to these. These are a bit more of like an older style look. I've complained about these a fair few times on our YouTube channel. And I know that a lot of you viewers have commented as well and said that you've had the same problems with these mirrors, that they're just downright dangerous. So Vic Off Road heard us talking about this and they've actually sent us these new mirrors. So thanks to Vic Off Road. They're a site that I've actually used a fair few times. I've just got some camp lights and stuff off there. They're actually very good price and you know, good gear as well. And I also really like the motorbike carriers that they sell. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They go into like your normal 50 mil hitch and then you can put your motorbike across the back. I really wanted one of them, but at the time I was trying to save up for the trip. So yeah, we didn't get one. So we know those other mirrors are no good. But these ones are actually epic. The viewing out of them is fantastic. It's better, I can actually see what's going on behind me now. It's great. So these are about $5.99, I think. Don't hold me to that. And the other ones that I had are about $400. So the other ones are really, they're very common. And it's what you would buy. Like, you need to have towing mirrors while you're towing a caravan, so why not choose those ones? But I'm gonna tell you <laughs> to actually spend the extra 200 bucks. These make so much of a difference. They look 10 times better. They don't vibrate. 
I think on corrugations, the old mirrors, I could just, you couldn't see anything. It was just, this would just vibrate so much that you just, you couldn't see behind you. You may as well have had no mirrors. They're just super, super robust. Slide in and out easily. All right, now let's get into this install piece and then we'll come back and I'll give you a bit of an overview on what mirrors I think you should buy. So this should be a super simple process. I won't bore you with most of it, but if there's any tricky things, I'll take you along the way and we'll see how we go. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not the ideal spot, so hopefully I don't you know, drop any screws or anything, but I'm really looking forward to getting these on. We've got the door card off, just pop the tweeter off and stuff, and then it's just these three bolts here. Now, on the previous one, I had to cut this one down, so we'll have a look and see what it's like on the new sand hemers. But, it's pretty straightforward, just unbolt that. You've got this clip here, which just unplugs like that. Now, just to note, this ute is a base model, so it, does, it didn't come with indicators in the mirrors, so they didn't work. The indicators in the mirror so it'd be interesting to see whether they work in the sand hemer or maybe it was just the ocam ones that didn't work but yeah we'll find out hey so this is the mirror looks pretty sleek to be honest i actually like that it says sand hemer there but um that it's nice and gray so you just don't notice it it's nice and sleek does all the jobs i haven't I haven't checked whether the indicator works yet or not, but I highly doubt it will. If it didn't with the other ones, it probably won't with these ones. But yeah, we'll do the other side now. So, here it is guys. My final review on what mirrors you should buy. Now, I know there's a lot more mirrors out there, like the clear views and um, the MSA mirrors and stuff like that. but. Those mirrors are up in the thousands of dollars and they're not really achievable to most people, you know what I mean? I'm sure you seem to see them on every 200, 300 series cruiser and yeah, if you can afford to have a 200 series cruiser then maybe you can probably afford to have thousand dollar mirrors. But the majority of people, it's really, you're shopping in the budget area. Now, I know that these Ocam mirrors and I think they're called Sunyi as well. They are the cheapest mirrors on the market. I mean, they do the job, and I've lasted eight months with them. Do I think they're a bit dangerous? Yeah, I do think they're a bit dangerous. I think now, after having both these and then the Gen 2 mirrors, which the Sandhemers are really in that middle price range, you know, they're 600 bucks. It's only an, ex it's an extra couple hundred bucks. I know it's, it's an extra couple hundred bucks, which, you know, that's a lot of money. But the amount of frustration for me being full-time living in the car and having to deal with those mirrors every day, they would make me angry. And <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but if you've ever had to deal with them before, they're just horrible. My life is so much better with the new mirrors. That's my review. I would pay the $600 and get the Sandhemer mirrors. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. Maybe click the subscribe button. It really helps us out at the end so that we can keep producing videos like these for you guys. Uh, maybe drop a comment down below what you guys would like us to review next. I want to give you guys what you want to see. So comment down below and until then, I'll see you on Saturday. Ciao.